What happened to Duana Johnson in Memphis, Tennessee? Duana was a uh, cross-dresser, cross-dresser slash transgender uh, prostitute and uh, got injured. EMS came to assist her in Memphis, Tennessee. When they found out she was actually a man, they refused to treat her. And she was arrested by two Memphis police officers uh, named James Swan, who was serving as a probationary officer. In other words, he had just been hired. He was doing probation time. And Bridges McRae. Bridges McRae was 28, and uh, James Swan was 25. So they arrested Duana Johnson for prostitution. In this video coming up, we see Duana sitting in the corner of the Shelby County Criminal Justice Center. And I do want to thank the people at LiveLink.com for the video. LiveLink.com provided this video. I don't know where they got it, but you will see the first officer, James Swan, who is the one on probationary period. He's trying to get her to come over for the booking process, and he's calling Duana faggot and he, she, and she's not responding. So you see him in the video walk up to her, and he starts hitting her, slapping her around, and she's still not responding. And you see his partner come up to kind of assist and actually gets behind. He's just beating the hell out of her. The partner's holding her. She's kicking and fighting the best she can. And then the partner moves away. And uh, I believe he, he the, the guy keeps hitting her. She finally gets up and starts hitting back. And it's just totally unprofessional what's going on, not to mention total police brutality. And it's just ridiculous. I think he sprayed her with uh, pepper spray there at some point because you see uh, you see her wiping her face and her eyes and and you know, you notice the other his partner moved away, you know. And I'm thinking that's when he sprayed her with the pepper spray. People standing around doing nothing. Not a damn thing, you know. Not when you see the officer come in on the left, he, he waves his hand over his nose. So you know there was pepper spray involved there. Finally, this guy pulls her down on the ground. And he's beat the hell out of her already. You see people in the background even holding their hands over their noses and stuff, you know, from the pepper spray smell. But they're all just watching. You know, another guy walks by holding his, holding his arm over his nose, you know, because of the pepper spray. You know, what a man. What a man. He just beat the hell out of poor old Dewana here. You know, being totally disrespectful and uh, expected her to act otherwise. So anyway, the rest of the story goes that uh, Duana, when she got past all this and got out, she, uh, she sought uh, legal assistance with this and she found a uh, lawyer named Murray Wells that took the case and Murray is quoted as saying, uh, we wanted some acknowledgement. Uh, so she would know that the Memphis Police Department didn't condone this. And Murray Wells continues to say, we were optimistic that they would be as outraged about this as we are, and we haven't gotten any indication that they're interested at all. The copy of this videotape was reviewed by both the FBI and the District Attorney's Office. The District Attorney's Office dropped all charges against Duana Johnson, and the FBI investigation continued. Well, James Swan, since he was on probationary period, he was immediately fired. 
because when the officer is in probationary period, they don't need a reason to fire him for all practical purposes. So he was fired. A uh, administrative hearing was held for Bridges McRae, his partner, and on June 25th, he was fired also. And the good news out of all this is that James Swan is actually up on charges for police brutality from the FBI, which he has pled not guilty to. And this is all after the fact. This, we're talking about November now before all that comes to the head. But what's interesting enough, on November 10th, Duanos Johnson's body was found dead from an assassination style gunshot wound to the head. He said that one more time. Duana Johnson was found dead from an assassination style gunshot wound to the head on Monday, November 10th. Duana wasn't anybody uh, that had a lot of money. She was in fact having a hard time paying her electric bills and keeping the water turned on and she was just trying to make a buck in the street, you know, to, to live, you know, to feed herself, to get by. No arrest had been made in the murder of Dewana Johnson. But the press is slamming her, you know, like that's what she gets for living that lifestyle and, you know, da-da-da-da-da. Folks, if you ask me, either one or both of these cops have some kind of involvement in this assassination style shooting of Duana Johnson. They lost their jobs. They probably won't ever get another job in police work. And uh, all because of what they did to themselves. And of course they had to blame Duana Johnson. And since she was a nobody and a nothing and was barely even getting by, uh, now they're going to get away with murdering her. Crime Stoppers is offering an award for any information leading to finding out who murdered Duana. You can call them at 1-800-245-0009. This is wrong, wrong, wrong what's going on in Memphis, Tennessee here. Nobody should get away with this. And the fact that she was arrested and she was beat, you've seen the video, there's just too many pointers going on here that these two Memphis City police officers had something to do with this. Again, the Crime Stoppers number, if you have any information, is 1-800-245-0009. Do not let this death of Duana Johnson go unpunished. <laughs>